This thing feels suspiciously free. I guess there were ochre jellies. We did have to fight the ochre jellies. And we get, like... Okay, so that's that's camp supplies. That's that's camp supplies. So all we really got was some holy water and a bit of money and some booze. Okay. All right, fine. That can be free. This row of books contains a scroll of blindness and a scroll of Evard's black tentacles. Ooh. Oh, Gale's probably going to have fun with that. Oh, Gale. Oh, this looks safe. I like this. This seems reasonable. I'm gonna save, just on the off chance that I fucking kill myself. This looks so very safe and reasonable and sane. Everybody needs to make a jump. Never wanted the easy path. Good job, teammates. You didn't fuck up. Hi there, intricate door. Also, there are torches. Hmm. I don't, uh, oh, contemplation chamber. What do you say? Hey, there's nothing. Let feast the eyes of the faithful. Know your goddess. Know her command. Uh-oh. Uh, Shadowheart, this is the part of the game where we're very glad we brought you along, right? Right? Uh, can, do I just have a key? Well, it is just locked. Okay. Um, how hard is this lock? Past this. Oh, it's DC 10. And I have a bonus of 5 to 10. I have a bonus of 6 to 14. Yeah, okay. Hooray! Oh, this is gonna be fine. This is gonna be fine. We're definitely not gonna fucking die here. Wait a second. Wait a second, there's just a... Well, we got the experience of opening it. Oh, hi! Oh, you're Philomene! Hey, we were looking for you! Or specifically your shit, but... Um... Are you... you man, you're standing in a way that suggests that you might... Um... They wouldn't send me into a boss fight against a weird little gnome named Philomene, would they? That seems like a mean thing to do to a person. Hi there, Philomene. This game doesn't do a lot of typical video game things, but I will say that sending us into a church to find you and you just standing there all ominously, it sure does make it seem like we're going to get a boss fight against you. I have something to ask. Uh-huh. Hold it! I swear to Iron Hand. One more step, and a blow is to chunks! Please don't. Passion scent fills the air. The barrel is filled with smoke powder. Sounds bad. As an expert on the subject, my dear lady, I'd like to point out that blowing oneself up is never the solution. Gail, not helping. Or I'll shut you down. Gail, you're not helping. Okay. Hi there. You're Philomene, right? Drug. Dropping my name like a culty stars knows me. Like we're friends. Well, I know what you are, one of Nia's cult goons, sailed right in. I mean, better to die in this shit eat than rot in moonrise. You want me? Come get me. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Um. Okay. I like how there are. There are, f there are three persuasion checks here, right? One of these persuasion checks is, are you really sure you want to kill yourself? Another of these is, this person sent me, which could help, you know, dropping a name, that's good. This persuasion check right here is, hey, dumb fuck. 
hey, the game is taking the player by the shoulders and going, hey, dumb fuck, do you remember that you got branded by the absolute? Because if you do, you're not going to pick this one. And if you don't, we're going to fuck you. <laughs> and ordinarily, I don't like it when the game sets out to fuck over the player. But this right here, and listen, if you hadn't gotten the brand of the absolute, this is probably fine. This is probably a reasonable thing to do, but I guarantee fucking T to the point where if I'm wrong, I don't want to hear about it. I guarantee fucking T that if Celeste reaches out her hand, this gnomey person is going to see the brand of the absolute and say, you fucker. And then Throw a hamote of fire at my face. <laughs> We're not going to quick load to see that because it might not be the case and I might be giving Larian a little too much credit. But, but, I really choose to believe that that's what happens. Also, Loretta sent me and I have a bonus of 11 to 16. It doesn't matter that I rolled a four. I have a, a 20. Lorita, Ruddy mind games. I, I know all about your tricks, true soul. I, why are you using our, th their terminology? Shit, I can't do it. Good. Go on, drag me to Moonrise. I'll make you cult nutters suffer. We're not doing that. Listen, I need this. You want to waste rune powder on... Look, you have no idea what you're dealing with. Any true Iron Hand would trade their life for a grain of this stuff. It's the whole damn reason we're here, and I'm not leaving without it. But let me go. Maybe I'll spare you a vial. I mean... Sure, but also history check. Uh, it's DC 20. So, you know, conceivable. I could roll well. I rolled well. I'm the greatest history knower. And it's me. I'm the scholar. It's me. Rune powder is gnomish folklore. An explosive of awesome power handed down to the gnomes by their war god. Gerdel Iron Hand, a formula so dangerous it was stricken from history, if it ever existed to begin with. Ooh, fun times. Now, wait a second. I thought that shit was fake. Huh. We've heard the same ones, I bet. A fistful of fire that can turn cities to dust. Well, it's real. And I need to bring it back to Baldur's Gate. I'd rather my clan were with me, but the mission comes first. A vial's what I can spare you. Uh, d d tell me more about this mission. Look, we're freedom fighters. We need this powder to prove a point to people who really need a point proven to them. Ooh! Let me go, and you'll be on the right side of history. That's all I can say. We get to be good guy terrorists! Yay! <laughs> uh, is there any way I could get more, though? A barrel of this could light up the Underdark. A vial is plenty. Just let me go my way. Can I get a persuasion check for two vials? DM, please? No? All right, fine. Don't throw it! <laughs> Listen, you see Larida at the dig? Tell her I'm dead. Impaled, half eaten. I don't care. Make up a story. <laughs> oh, nothing says true love like faking your own death to avoid someone. <laughs> uh, that sounds mean. Why are you being mean? Beloved. I might have been hers. 
She sure as hell wasn't mine. I'm getting the room powder back to Boulder's Gate. Alone. Oh. I see. All right. Well, bye. And hey. No terrible. <laughs> I like the way she just thump, thump, thump. She's like a preschooler toddling away. But, you know, no. Uh, <laughs> we didn't have to fight Philomene. So that's good. Having successfully gone this way, I feel like we've done all of the this way that there is to this way. Like, like this here was just the place. And I think we've, uh, yeah, we've pretty thoroughly explored the place. Look at me, scrying eye. I'm speaking with a cow. I can speak cow. What's up, cows? Tired. Sleep. Okay, you're sheep, Rest, not cows. little one. But do not take long. I feel his shadow. I heard his name whispered. The rock shivers from the sound. The Ketherick Thorn. The name means little to you, yet your heart pulses to its rhythm. Thorn. Thorn. Interesting. Who is that guy? Mm. Mighty elf, cloaked in darkness. Ten masters ago, and ten more. But I remember so there 20. was the work and the blood. You could just say 20. There was the Thorm's army. There was the hell beast that broke them. The Ketherick Thorm's name faded into stone until the near came. Hmm. Seems like everybody doesn't like this near guy. Uh, what does he have to do with him? I know not, so I say not. Yet I hear his name again, said by the shadows. Sounds bad. Uh, just exactly how old are you, fancy sheep? I outlived my mother, and her mother's mother, and many mothers beyond. Blessed I mean, that's... to see many live, cursed to see many die. I mean... The way you worded that doesn't make it sound like much of an accomplishment. Like, I outlived my mother's mother. And every mother, mother, mother's mother before that. And my mother is like 70 years old and has COPD, so you know. Uh, anyway, um, but, uh, so you're saying you're old is what you're getting at. Okay. All right, fine. Jerk. I saw tusks and flesh, smelled fire and eggs. It came with the mask men, crashing and smashing. Hmm. Good talk, sheep. Hold on, if this Catherick guy was a Char guy, why hasn't Shadowheart said anything about the... Sure. Okay, fine. The amulet has gifted you a power here to four. Uh, okay, okay. You can barely keep yourself from smiling. Uh oh. Don't write down your laughter, buddy. But okay. Sybil ripped the amulet from your throat, cast it into the lava. Oh. I see. So Sybil had an amulet that may or may not have just cast Tasha's hideous laughter on you. Interesting. Oh, there's a spirit in the amulet. Oh. Oh, great. Awesome. You look at the skeletons. You realize they are all clad in the same dark armor. Yeah. Dark Justicia uniforms. These were Shah worshippers. The same as me. No shit, Shadowheart. <laughs> Don't say this thing. 
Uh, yeah, whoever killed them must have pissed off your, your, your god lady. Still, if whatever managed to murder a group of Sharans is still around, we had better watch our step. Mm-hmm. We can go down. There's down here. We can craggedly rock this cragged rock. Hello, Chasm Creeper. Oh boy. Speaking of chasms, another boing pit. Oh, I'm so happy to see a boing pit. This will be fine. It's Baldur's Platforming 3. Yeah! It's gonna be easier coming back. Oh, hey, a box. Be wary. This place is trapped. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, I don't know if, uh... I don't know if the game is gonna be mean and lock me into opening this thing, lock me into the trap as soon as I go at it. Well, so, hello. hey, Astarian, you're the one who's actually like good at this. Celeste dabbles, but you're the one who's actually good at it. Can you, uh, yeah, yeah, we're kind of glad you have the, you have that and the guidance. And if we needed to, we could bardically inspire you, but I don't think we do, so. Thank you. No one back home will ever believe this. So now that we've disarmed it, can we lockpick it? That's DC 15 again. Okay. And Astarian just, uh, yeah, Astarian has the better bonus. Careful, so. I bind. Hardly a challenge. Yeah, DC 15, you have a bonus of 11 to 14. That's good. We'll take that. Thank you, Astarian. Big fan of you. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Oh, hi! I'm sorry, what? <laughs> the real Sparky Sparks wall? What? <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought we were taking ourselves seriously today. The real Sparky Sparks wall. Okay. I can boing myself down this way. I see another box over here. I see plenty more boxes over there, actually. But the question is, how do I box there? I don't know that I can. At least from here. Hi there, guys. Bye there, guys. You never found that corpse I murdered. I mean, found dead. I mean, you never found that corpse. I mean, what corpse? There's no corpse. Hey, look. Crackered Rock. <laughs> Scurry down the Cragged Rock. What to do? Okay, this feels like it might be just a little trapacious. But this is a harper rune. There must be a stockpile nearby. Left out in plain sight like that. No, the harpers are too smart for that. Hmm. So you're saying it's a trap, Celeste, is what you're saying. Good to know. Can we get anyone to examine the obvious trap and decipher its trap like nature? Ah! I did not click that box. I did not click that box. That thing, a monster hiding in plain sight. Okay. I mean, it's only level three. That's not too bad. And, and Gail's got spells, which he can 
use. What do you got for level two, second level spell slots, my guy? Uh, you've got death and pain, and uh, oh, there are multiples. Oh, there are three of them. Oh, that's mm, that's less good, honestly. But you know, you could. So if you were to say, hold on, if you were to move, oh, can't, can't reach destination, can you? Okay, well, shoot, um, you can't get anywhere up here, so you can't thunder wave the, okay, all right, um, hmm, hail of thorns, you say? Ow, 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 ow. Uh, thorns deal 4 to 11 piercing damage to the target and then explode. The explosion deals an additional 1d10 piercing damage to the target and surrounding creatures. I mean, that sounds good. Hail of thorns! You didn't do much. You know, if that had worked, I would start calling you Gale of Thorns, but it didn't, so you don't get the cool nickname. Swiftly now. Fucker. Uh, yeah, shield. Sucks to be you. Sucks to be you. Okay. Uh, Jeebus, we did fight some acid monsters tonight, so the gelatinous cube is coming. I can almost guarantee it. All right, if you were to yeah I think if you bonus action dash what do you mean can't reach destination is it just because you'd have to like hop or something that's annoying okay so there's there's functionally nowhere here for you to actually hide well okay I don't know C can, can you try? Leave no trace. Nope. All right, dark vision. Fine then. You instead can huck a mode of fire at uh this one right here. Good job with the with the fire mode hucking, Astarian. A better position. You're you're a grand and loyal hero or something? I don't know. Ow! <laughs> Sounds bad. Okay. Shadowheart has a second level spell slot, which we will use to bring in another bonk friend. I think a second bonk friend will do us a great deal of good right about now. And then... Uh, let's see about... Boggers thinks I can long rest once after learning about Nier and be okay. I mean, that would be reasonable. The game does send you on a go-get-shit quest. So, we'll see. It would be imminently reasonable for the game to give me one long rest here. What about... Hmm. Old person. Guiding Bolt is good. 4d6 radiant damage and the next attack roll against the target has advantage. That sounds really good. That's just a first level spell slot, so... Yeah. You missed! Unbelievable, Shadowheart. Okay, top of the round, Gale. Gale, Gale, Gale. You've got Huck a mode of Fire. I mean, Huck a mode of Fire is a very imminently reasonable thing for you to do, honestly. Your cantrips have been, have been buffed rather substantially. I don't want to burn that second, third level spell. That seems a little... Hmm... 
I could spend... Yeah, no. That doesn't seem... Well, let's just examine the... You know... On the other hand... It's fucking Fireball! I like Fireball! Wizard do damage good! How about that? Good job, Gale. Um, can you bonus action potion of get back a spell slot? I have potions of get back a spell slot, don't I? Uh, I have potions of speed, I have simple toxins, I have soul coins. You could eat a soul coin, that seems like a bad idea. Uh, you could take a Malice, you could take Elixir of the Colossus. Oh, I have two, two potions of get back a spell slot, but they're only level one spell slots, so... Huh. All right, fine. Uh, good job, Gail. Now it's time for mimicry. You bit me! Let's see if you like it when I bite you. Ah! Some healing for a wizard in need. Aha! Oh, Gale. Oh, Gale, you went from a bunch of hit points to none hit points. Oh, bad. Oh. All right. Well, great. Can't sneak attack you. It's a shame. Um, here. Second bonus action. Why don't you healing word Gale? It's a good idea. Actually, how massive is your mass healing word? Uh, 18 meters. Oh, okay. So, yeah, that'll get, uh, that'll get Celeste, too. Yeah, sure. Good job. Now, take your action and fucking stab something, would you? Take a, take a piercing strike at, um, that'll provoke, this won't provoke. Here, yeah. Bop that. You missed. Awesome. Good job. Another fight. Let's go. Okay then. Celeste. Best person there is. You could viciously mock this mimic. That seems silly. Uh you could cast Hunter's Mark on the mimic, right? Yeah. Yeah, you could do Hunter's Mark. Fuck you, you're my hunter's mark. Uh, as for everything else, uh, Blade Ward gives you resistance to damage. That's nifty, but uh, heroism. Five temporary hit points, and but it'll break concentration on the hunter's mark, which is contrary to what I... Okay, well, too many hit points, too many hit points, too many... Okay. Um, you know, I'm starting to think we might want to just stab you to death. Like, if I was to take a, a melee defensive flourish. There we go. Attack decrease. Yeah, I have advantage because you're a monster. Man, you know, with that feller of monsters thing, if we're fighting so many damn monstrosities... Maybe Celeste should take a couple levels in Rogue. Just for the sneak attack. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, you need 12 to hit, you rolled 23. You know what? That's a critical hit, fuck you. <laughs> You're immune to acid damage. Okay, well, good news. The acid damage is just a little plinky bonus thing I do. <laughs> Fuck you, the mimic. Okay, uh, Shadow Heart and also the spiritual weapon. The best of my people. Let's take a Guiding Bolt on this guy to give a Starian advantage the next time he wants to eat him. Actually, hold on. Um, Gale, Gale's down like 89 hit points, and you have you, you have some third level spell slots. What if, what if we just like 
did a third level cure wounds actually i feel like a, i feel like a third level cure wounds is sort of the yeah third level cure wounds is the order order of the day here hey gail have some hit points back bud you're welcome okay uh bonus action Hey, you know what could use more fucking hit points is still Gale, actually. Um, do, can I do, uh, yeah, I think that's, that's not the worst idea. Good turn, healer. Take you. you know how you actually heal people for a living? Yeah, that's, that, that's what you do. Good job, Shadowheart. But also, in addition to healing people, you fucking kill them. With your with your magic axe sword. Yay! Okay, Gale! These things aren't dead, but neither are you, so pluses and minuses. Let's see here. If you get over here and thunder wave that thing. Oh, it can't get slammed that way. It could this could get pushed away, but there's no real reason to interesting uh you, you you could just huck a thing of uh huck a thing of death at it it's not the worst idea you could do a ray of frost when you call my name it's like a ray of frost uh never mind uh you could swipe at a creature to not get prone i mean honestly uh oh that's only a 55 percent chance to hit okay well so much for Gale, the, the monster killer. Uh, let's just huck a mode of fire at this guy, honestly. That sounds like a good idea. Thank you, Gale. And uh, is this, this mimic is going to act next, so I really shouldn't run Gale up to get closer to it. That seems like a bad idea. Uh, you'll be fine. My weapon! You bastards! <laughs> Anger. Well, you know what? Bag worth of shit? I'm smarter than you still. Bonus action disengage. Get the fuck over here. Bonus action hide. Ranged sneak attack. Fuck you. Disarmed. Sometimes the only way out is through. Dis anger. Okay, now how long does the uh, does the bonus from your uh, from your thing last? It it looks like it may have already gone away, actually. So that's not great. I could theoretically do it again. Yeah, it lasts one turn. That would burn another bardic inspiration. Yeah, actually, that seems like a really good idea. Here, take take another melee flourish thing. Um, Jeebus, don't suggest that. How are you not dead? You you boffin faced bastard. How are you not dead? Um, do I have anything? I can't flourish because I already flourished. I have to take a take a long rest. Okay, fine. Um, I don't suppose I can just huck a fuck you at you, can I? Do I have a particular fuck you I can huck at you? I don't think I have any fuck yous I can huck at you. Really like it if I had a... I mean, I could... No, that's, that's a capital A action. All right, fine. Um, uh, I've got I've got healing word. That's a good spell. Here. Um... Who, who's, who's word, who can hear my word of healing? Astarian, buddy. 
There you go. You're the, you're the best dude. Except for all the other dudes. Haha, ha, you missed. Fuck you. Okay, um... So... Ultra Death Motherfuck over here needs to... fucking die. Um... Yeah. Like... Yeah, I think that's about it. Nobody's in any super death danger. I can't summon another one of these, can I? Hold on. Can I... I can't summon another one of those. That would that would dismiss the one that I've got, right? Shadowheart can't, like, spend six rounds just bonus actioning herself into a sword army, can she? That seems a little... funky. I don't think that's gonna happen. Uh, I do think, however... Uh, yeah, actually... I know this is kind of boring cantrip wise, but listen, it's, a, it's only a 60% chance to huck a boat of fire. At you. Mm. Mm. I think after this, I'm going to take a song. I don't think I've burned Celeste's song of rest, which means I essentially have another short rest. And if I have another short rest, I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. Uh, let's do... Uh, I could really go for another Guiding Bolt, actually. Mm, I mean, that's this thing's so close to dead. I might, it might just be best to run up and fucking bonk it with a with a bludgeoning thing. Yeah, just kind of, just kind of bonk it. You have sixteen. There, it's dazed. We didn't actually see the animation of you bonk. Oh, there's the sound of you bonking it. Okay, good work. That's an 80% chance. That's a 75% chance. Uh, you know what? Here. Let's try to fucking finish off and kill this thing, would you? Okay! One dead mimic. Wonderful. Next is Gale. Gale has three level two spell slots. Okay. Yeah, I could always mix up the party, too. Could definitely mix up the party if I needed to. Uh, this little duder right here. So that's a 64% chance. Oh, and I'm, and it's only it's 64 because, I, okay. Uh, what do I have? I do have bone chill. Hey, are you, um... Hey, buddy. How do you feel about necrotic damage? You don't care. Wonderful. What if we were to chill your O? Oh, is Bone Chill also a ranged spell? Well, piss. Do I not have a... I don't have a... Hmm. That's unfortunate. Uh, that being the case, I'm severely tempted to burn one of my second level spell slots and just... Uh, hit you with four magic missiles. Which might be a little bit, uh... Hmm. Still take half damage. You're pushed five meters. Uh... You know what? Fuck that. Second level. Plink, 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 and plink. Plink, 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 plink. How are you not dead? Ah, you missed. Sucks to be you, thing that exists. All right. Uh, can that thing see me right now? No. No, it absolutely can't. Astonishing. Uh, bonus action hide. On the hunt. Ranged sneak attack. Fucking kill it. Thank you. Now then. Uh, you could, theoretically... Uh, you still have your healing word, but I don't think we really need that. I think you're okay. I think we'll just, uh, bop you over here. I really shouldn't have done that. Why don't you bop a little bit further out this way? You'll be fine. Uh, Celeste is going to kill this thing anyway. Yeah, Celeste is just going to kill it. It's got very low hit points. Um, is anything here a short rest? 
this is a short rest, and we're going to take one of those in a moment, so. Okay. Whew. Fuck me. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss an upload. And if you want to catch the streams live, go to twitch.tv slash the underscore goog. The stream schedule's on screen now. Wow.